you're listening to Kendrick Loves to Brand, the branding podcast featuring stories and lessons from entrepreneurs and brand builders so you can get inspiration, insights, strategies, and tactics as you create your own game-changing brand. What is up, guys? Welcome to another edition of Mindset Monday on the Kendrick Loves to Brand podcast. The theme for today is always be learning. Now, whether you're an entrepreneur or just somebody who's always looking to improve yourself, we all know that learning doesn't just stop after you're done with school. In fact, most of the learnings that we're going to get in life will happen after we're done with school because it's a long life and we're only in school for really a few years. Uh, In fact, this episode is inspired by my conversation with Russ Vergara from episode 3. Russ is the founder of VG.ph, one of the pioneer design studios in the country and he openly talks about his struggles with traditional schooling wherein he dropped out of about seven different schools you know on the you know all on the way to finding out and realizing that it just wasn't a good fit for him to be going to school for his education right so he got his education through experience through you know working and finding a mentor and you know coming from that episode you know i thought uh, I like you know I, I wanted to share with you guys like my own favorite ways you know to to always be learning okay so I love reading books so that's number one for me I love reading books um, I have plenty of books in the house here in the office um, you know ever since I was a kid that was something that was instilled in us by our parents you know if, if we wanted to buy a toy it, it we don't always get it but if we want to buy a book then that's easier right we can always get a book so whether it's for entertainment or for sports or business or anything like that uh, if we wanted to buy a book you know our parents would just easily buy it for us so um, that's something that you know I, I've carried with me as, I, as I've grown although to be honest I don't have as much time uh, recently to actually read a physical book so I've turned to my second favorite way of reading books which is listening to audiobooks uh, so that's another way that I love to learn is to listen to audiobooks or listen to podcasts um, and that's also how I developed this love for podcasting and why I have my own podcast now. Because for the past several years, I've just been listening and consuming a lot of podcasts because it's a great way to get access to people that I normally wouldn't have access to, right? Great entrepreneurs from the U.S., from other countries that are guests in different podcasts or, or have their own podcasts. You know, they share their stories, they share their, their strategies or uh, the lessons that they've learned in their own journey. And it's almost like having them right in front of you telling their stories. And for me, that's just, there's just a power to, to hearing from somebody's perspective, hearing their experience and being able to find the lesson in there that uh, that's applicable to my own journey. Right. Uh, We don't, we don't, we don't always have the same journey, but there's always lessons that you can pick. Um, And it's great to hear it direct from, the entrepreneurs that I look up to. So listening to podcasts, listening to audiobooks, that's a- another great way that I love to learn. Um, another thing, uh, another thing that I do to always be learning is to watch how-to videos on YouTube or, or webinars. I actually subscribe to a few webinars, um, whether it's teaching something, you know, technical such as Facebook ads. Um, you know, we're not the best, uh, we're not experts in Facebook ads or, or digital marketing. So you know, we're always looking to constantly improve as a company because we have several brands that we're running. So, and all these different brands are in different industries and different, um, they have different target markets. So, you know, we're always looking to improve how we communicate online, how we, how we do our digital marketing. So, you know, from webinars, like how to set up your, um, your Instagram business account, or even just how to, you know, target your audience better on Facebook, um, down to, um, you know, even just webinars on, on uh, how to you know, improve your uh, production or anything like that. Uh, if there's a webinar out there that I can find that's applicable to the business um, that we're running, you know, it's something that I'm going to that I'm going to look at, even if it's not free, even if it's paid uh, for me. That's great. That's a great way to learn. Also, um, another thing that I, that I love doing is looking for mentors, right? People who I look up to. So I said so, like I said, um, there are a lot of entrepreneurs that I that I look up to in other countries, and the best way for me to learn from them is to follow them online, listen to their to their content, or watch their content 
uh, follow their podcast. But here in, locally, right, without the geographic um, limitations, there are a lot of mentors here. Um, some of the mentors that, that I look up to and that I, I try to learn from have actually featured in the podcast. But some um, who are more low-key, you know, I just reach out to them, whether it's you know, a cold email or just reaching out to them on Facebook Messenger or Instagram. Um, you know, you'd be surprised how generous a lot of people are with their time and with their knowledge, with their experience. So, you know, that's one of the advice that I always give to people, you know, don't be afraid to reach out to somebody that you want to learn from, somebody that, uh, that you want to be your mentor, because, you know, you really never know. I mean, most of the time, maybe you'll get shut down. Maybe, you know, I mean, obviously these people are very busy uh, and I'm sure a lot of people are, you know, a lot of people want a piece of their time, but, you know, you never, you never really know until you, you try, right? And, you know, if you don't, if you don't get that access to somebody personally, you know, there's always podcasts, right? Look for the content, look for interviews that they've done with other people. Uh, and there's always something you can pick up from, from those interviews, right? And of course, my favorite, my favorite, favorite way to learn is by doing, right? By experience. Experience is the best teacher. So at the end of the day, you know, you can read a ton of books. You can read it, you know, listen to a ton of podcasts and audiobooks and watch all the videos online. But it doesn't matter unless you actually go out and apply the lessons that you're learning from all those things, right? So uh, for me, it, it's not like when I, when I read something, when I, when I listen to something, you know, and I take, and I take a note of it, um, you know, I can learn from it, but it's only when I actually apply that do I really feel that, okay, I really know this now. So uh, that's just it, you know, reading books, listening to podcasts, you know, watching. So what, what, depending, depending on how you learn best, there's plenty and plenty of ways that you can continue to improve on yourself. So that's basically it, guys. Those are different ways that I personally use to continue to learn new things, to continue to develop myself, to improve on myself. Uh, you know, feel free to mix and match, you know, take what you guys uh, can get from that. If you're doing something that's different from any of this, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. I'm always looking to to learn from people. And that's also why I have this podcast to be able to meet new, you know, to meet people, meet my colleagues and peers, uh, meet people that I look up to and be able to learn from them. Um, and actually, speaking of that, we have a great episode coming out this Friday. So make sure that you're subscribed to the show or you're, follow, you're following the show on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. And, you know, if you're enjoying the show, please do go over to iTunes or Apple Podcasts and leave a five-star review uh, and rating for the show so that more people can, can find the show. Um, that's basically it guys have a great week ahead and I'll see you guys on Friday thank you guys for listening if you enjoyed this episode please rate and review the show on iTunes it will help more people discover the show you can also share a screen cap of the show on your social media accounts make sure to tag me and let me know which part of the episode you like or didn't like all feedback is certainly welcome so feel free to reach out to me on Instagram at Kendrick Ko to let me know what topics you'd like to be covered next and who you want to hear or learn from in future episodes. Until next time, do the work you want to see done because life's too short to not be creating your life's work.